I went to see that movie, The Iron Lady, and I didn't like it much at first, but I watched it a second and a third time, and it started growing on me. And don't get me wrong, Margaret Thatcher, I consider her, she worked for the other side. And, you know, her side basically believed that poverty is a choice or is a result of bad planning or just plain laziness. And while that can be a truth, it is not the truth. But about the third time I watched it, I felt myself starting to empathize with her and starting to like her a little bit, and I didn't want to. It's like, it's like being horny for a homeless person. It don't feel right, don't feel right. <laughs> So I started reading about her, and you know, I, I saw a couple of documentaries, and I got to know more about her and everything, and just, you know, she was an idealist. She was wrong in a lot of her ideas, but she believed in them. She wasn't just like a jobbing politician who would say anything for your vote or your money. I'm at a party one night and fall into a conversation with a young lady, and she is conversationally swift, and we're having a good time, and we're talking about gender politics, and I just happened to say, of all the female icons women are encouraged to reach for, almost none of them reach for Thatcher. I mean, hell, they almost all reached for Madonna before they reached for Thatcher. And she got a little pissy and she said, well, absolutely. Madonna broke that glass ceiling that had been oppressing women for decades. Madonna showed women they could be sexy, healthy, and vital well into their 40s and 50s. She showed women that they could and should be smart business people. Some of that's true, but how about this? Thatcher reached all the way to the top in the most male-dominated profession in the world, and she didn't shake her ass one time. <laughs> she didn't shake her ass, she didn't undo her cleavage before she went into a meeting with the boys, and she didn't suck a dick to jump the queue. She was true to game. <laughs> so this lady got even more pissy, and she says, sounds like you love her. I said, uh, maybe I do. Sounds like you'd shag her. I said I would, but out of respect. <laughs>